Tejas challenges ahead. T. Suvana Raju, CMF Industan Aeronautics Limited, how, has said India is ready to export LCA Tejas in the future. Raju also said that with the ramping up of LCA Tejas from 8 to 16 aircraft per annum, and with outsourcing, and participation of private players HAL will be able to speed up export process. Exporting is a bit too ambitious at this stage considering there are so many projects that are delayed, or have been delayed due to bureaucratic red tape, lack of funds, inability to find skilled labor, frequent changing in designs, etc. Interestingly HAL has plans to manufacture a three-ton class light utility helicopter with engines at Karnataka. On May 31st this year HAL successfully conducted the maiden flight of the first prototype basic trainer aircraft HTT-40. About 80% of indigenous content has been used. HAL has also taken up indigenous development of various UAVs, unmanned aerial systems. HAL is also jointly developing rotary UAV with IID Kanpur and Mel UAV Rustam second with aeronautical development establishment at Marred by project delays and issues of request for information, RFI, request for proposals, RFP, and transfer of technology, to T, licensing issues with Russia, United States. India's defense sector especially HAL is currently undergoing massive transformation, a natural corollary to Modi's frequent visits to other countries and subsequent discussions with his counterparts on defense and security. The revised defense procurement policy is also being projected as the game changer. However financial, political, and strategic investments in projects, meant to modernize India's defense industry exhibit a very uneven path. Whether it is the MMRCA, Tejas or WAX statistics reveal that India is yet to achieve a great breakthrough in defense, compared to China or Pakistan as in the case of a WAX. The Cabinet Committee on Security has time and again sanctioned several projects, but uneven investments have often defeated the very purpose of rapid military transformations to tackle new asymmetrical threats. If statistics provided by the Defence Ministry are to be believed, India has signed five deals of more than 2,500 rupee crore since May 2014. Projects for Tactical Communication Systems TCS, Futuristic Infantry Combat Vehicle FICV, worth $7.5 billion for the Indian Army, construction of seven Shivalik class frigates, Project 17A for the Navy by Mazag and Ox Limited and Garden Reach Steel Industry. Amounting to 45,201 rupees crores are currently under consideration. HAL is currently in the process of building basic trainer aircraft HTT-40 and Sukhoi Mk-1 aircraft in line with the 272 target set for 2018 by the Indian Air Force. There are several such deals being planned. But deadlock over Rafael continues to make headlines. Meanwhile, reacting to the commercial deadlock over Rafael prices with Dassault, other players such as Lockheed Martin, F-16, Saab, Gripen, are now streamlining their business strategy to meet the requirements of the Indian industry under Make in India. Saab is willing to partner with Indian companies, giving India complete software control to build the Gripen fighter in India. Saab is also keen on setting up an aeronautic training academy in India. The Indian establishment says that the value of the aerospace self-reliance initiative was not simply the production of an aircraft, but also the building of a local industry capable of creating state-of-the-art products with commercial spin-offs for a global market. 
the LCA program was intended in part to further expand and advance India's indigenous aerospace capabilities. In the early 80s, it was realized that no organization existed which had the total capability to develop such an aircraft all on its own. The last time an indigenous fighter aircraft, the HF-24 flew, was in 1961. Since then, the HF-24 assembly line had been shut down, and the design team had been wound up. The only way left was to develop an aircraft from scratch. To better accomplish these goals, the government of India in 1984 decided to establish the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, to manage the LCA program. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, was to be the principal partner with participation of various DRDO and CSIR laboratories, public and private sector industries and academic institutions. It is still too early to talk about the confluence of events that will lead to export of Tejas, but right now talking about export is not a wise idea. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.